Here we have a square ABCD. The side of the square is 10. And we have two diagonals in it. And also we have two lines, AF and DE, that connect two of the vertices of the square and points E and F, which are splitting sides AB and BC in halves. And we asked to find the area of this green quadrilateral. So today we're going to use a technique called methods of coordinates. Uh, normally it is considered as a brute force approach, which gives you the results, but it requires normally a lot of calculations. Now this problem is an exception to this rule. It actually gives us the results, still gives us the results, but it doesn't require that much of calculations. That's why it's very nice to show this method on this problem. So the way we're going to deal with this is we introduce a coordinate system, x, y, in a way that point A we're going to be as a center of the coordinate system, origin of coordinate system. Axis x will be along side AD, and axis y is going to be along the side AB. The first thing we're going to do is to find the formulas for the lines ED, BD, AC, and AF, okay, in this coordinate system. One thing to remember is if the line is not vertical, in this case, it could be described by this formula, where k and p are constants that need to be found. k is called a slope, and p is called intercept. First, what we're going to do, let's look at the um, line ED and find an equation for this line. To do that, we need to know the coordinates of point E and point D. Now, coordinate of point E is horizontal coordinate is zero, it's on vertical line, and it lays halfway between A and B. So the vertical coordinate of this point is going to be 5. So E has coordinate 0, 5. Now, point D lays on the horizontal axis, so the vertical coordinate is going to be 0, but horizontal coordinate is going to be 10. And now what we need to say is this line with fixed k and p has to go through point E with these coordinates and point D with these coordinates. Okay? The fact that this line goes through point E means when x equals to 0, y should be equal to 5. And the second point tells us that when x equals to 10, y should be equal to 0. From the first equation, we immediately see that p has to be 5. And now if we take this p and plug it in the second equation, we get k equals to 1 half. And our line ED is described by this equation. In a similar manner, we can find the equation for the line BD, this line, and the equation is going to be like this. Uh, we know coordinate of D already, but we also know the coordinate of B, which is 0, 10. In the same way, we can find that AC is described by equation y equals to x, and we can get it in a similar way by knowing that A has coordinate 0, 0, and C has coordinate 10, 10. And finally, AF has this equation. And um, again, we're doing the same kind of calculation, assuming that F has coordinates 5, 10. All right. Now we found all the equations for all the lines. And now we would like to find coordinates of these points G, H, K, and L. So let's start with point L. As you can see, point L is a point of intersection of the line AC and line ED. So,
coordinates of this point, x and y, are coordinates that we can obtain by solving a system of these two equations. Now, how can we solve this system? Well, very easy. The second equation tells us that we can replace y with x. So that's what we do and plug it in the first equation. We get an equation like this. Now let's move this half x on the other side by adding half x. We can do that. We get 3 half x equals to 5. And now we multiply both parts of this equation by 2 and divide by 3. And we get our x as 10 third. Now the last equation tells us that y should be the same as x. So y is also 10 third. And that gives us the coordinate of point A. Now let's find the coordinate of point H. So H is the result of intersection of BD and AF. So X and Y have to satisfy the equation for both of those lines. Again, second equation tells us that Y is 2X. Now we can put 2X here in the first equation. This is what we're going to get. Now we need to move this minus x to the left side by adding x. And now we divide both parts of what we got by 3 and we get x equals to 10 third. This equation tell, tells us that y should be twice the x. It means that y should be 20 third. So this are the coordinates of point H. Now in a similar way let's look at the point G which is intersection of A, F and E, D. So what we're we gonna do we're gonna look at this equation and this equation. Okay? Same way y is equal to x. Let's plug 2x here instead of y. This is what we're gonna get take this half x on the other side, we're going to get 5 half x equals to 5, and divide both parts by 5, and multiply by 2, we get x equals to 2, y is 2x, which means that y is 4, and we got our coordinates of point G. When it comes to point K, we see that it's point of intersection of diagonals AC and BD, we can do the same strategy as with three previous points, or we can simply remember that k should be in the middle of the square. And it means that the coordinates of k should be 5, 5. So now we got coordinates of all points, and now we're ready to calculate the area of this quadrilateral. Now notice that h and l have the same horizontal coordinate. It means that the line that connect L and H is a vertical line. Okay. Um, the way we're going to calculate the area of this quadrilateral is by splitting it into two triangles. One triangle on the left, it's GHL, and another triangle on the right, KLH. Okay. Area of the triangle is the half height times the length of the side. The side we're going to use is HL in both cases. For the left triangle, the line or segment GM will be the height. And for the right triangle, the segment KN will be the height. So now we can say that area of the big quadrilateral is the area of these two triangles, left and right. Uh, we know that each triangle is half of the length of the side times the height, and that's what we have here. Now we see that we can pull out LH over 2 from both of these terms. And what we get in parentheses is GM plus KM. Okay? Now, Let's figure out what this LH is. And since LH is a vertical 
line, the length of LH will be vertical coordinate of H minus vertical coordinate of A. Gm plus Km, both of these Gm and Kn are horizontal lines, and their sum will be the difference between horizontal coordinates of point K and point G. And now we can combine everything together and get the final answer that the area of the green quadrilateral is 5.